one of my go-tos, um, and no, I am not a plant, um, is that I always encourage teachers to use PBS Learning Media. Um, we actually have it hooked into our learning management system, so it's uh, just a tab on the side, and they just have to click, and it goes right there, and they can assign things to their students. And partly that's because there's quick snippet videos, there's lesson plans, um, there's a, online um, activities and interactive things that they can go to. Um, my other thing that I would encourage all teachers to take advantage of are the resources that their school librarian um, has curated for them. Um, so those are gonna vary by district, but I think if you can take advantage of those and make a good friend with your school librarian, you're gonna be off to a really good start. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna say the same thing that Jen said. <laughs> <laughs> The librarian is your friend. <laughs> That's the human resource. That's the human resource. Yeah. Um, I was going to say PBS, but you took that. So if there was right. one other one, oh, I would probably say Flipgrid. Oh, yeah. And the reason why I would say Flipgrid, in addition to it being one that's free, just because it's free doesn't mean it's good, but this is a really good free product. Um, it's good for all grade levels. You could differentiate your instruction with this tool. And I think that's very important. Um, it's great even for our primary kids where they don't have to know passwords and all because those things are very important. Um, and it's very secure in that, you know, you don't have outside, you can build it right inside of your spaces. Um, and I think it gives that level of interaction that students would love. And um, you can differentiate, you can collaborate, and they already have resources in there for you to see and figure out how to use it. So I'm gonna say Flipgrid. It's like the video, it's like video chatting if you've never tried Flipgrid, but so much more. That's just a short way of explaining it, but definitely Flipgrid. And one of the really great things about it is you can do single sign-on if your school is a Microsoft or a Google district. Yep. They um, it's single sign-on, so kids don't have to know another login. Yeah, and that's the, so yeah. good. <laughs> and I think that's the big piece we keep talking about all these tools. Like you have to really know if you have to use passwords. Could it be single sign-on? And again, we don't want to bog down students with another thing, all these different tools. So just be mindful of learning the few that you know. Get a few good ones under your belt. Or then give kids options. See, and I think that's when the options come in. Once you realize, oh, there's some extra tools. Maybe that can be an option for a student to learn. Once you've seen if it's improved in your, you know, your your district or whatever, and give kids options. Just you don't have to learn all of the tools, but if it's something that as you're teaching, and that's another way to differentiate your instruction. If you have these other set of approved tools, if you don't have to teach it, but give kids the opportunity. If you want to do this, you pick any of these tools and allow them to explore and learn it on their own. And then they that's another way of assessing. I really like that. 